Hi guys! It's no secret that cauliflower is my least favorite vegetable, but that doesn't mean I won't eat them, especially if they're beer battered and deep fried. Oh yes, I will eat those. More so if they're tossed with some vegan honey garlic sesame sauce too. So to make these delightfully indulgent nuggets, start with a pound of cauliflower and cut it into pieces. I like to keep the little trees intact so they become two or three bite pieces. Then choose your beer. I'm using one of my favorites at the moment, Whistler Brewing Company's Chestnut Ale. It has a roasted chestnut aroma and the sweet, cozy flavor of a delicious winter ale. Feel free to use whatever you have on hand. I can't actually drink very much, a few sips of any alcoholic beverage and I'm pretty much done, but I do enjoy the taste of a nice beer so this is my favorite way of using my leftovers. Mix that beer with some finely milled flaxseed, flour, minced shallots, white pepper, and salt. Whisk together until the mixture is fairly smooth. You want a thick pancake batter-like consistency. This was a little thick for my liking, so I added a touch more liquid. Now it's time to coat the cauliflower. I find it easiest to do a few florets at a time, placing the coated pieces on a plate so that each piece gets fully covered. When that's done, heat up some oil in a pot or your deep fryer to 365 degrees Fahrenheit or 185 Celsius. I'm using a candy thermometer to make sure my oil is hot enough. This is super hot, so be super careful. Place a few cauliflower pieces in the hot oil. Use tongs or chopsticks if you're really confident with them and stand back so you don't get accidentally splattered. The oil will bubble up right away. Don't put too many pieces in at a time as this will bring the temperature of the oil down and ideally you don't want the pieces to stick together. If some do though, it's not a huge deal. After a minute or two, flip the cauliflower over carefully. The bottom should be nicely browned. Cook for a half minute to a minute more or until the other side is nicely browned as well. Then remove the cooked pieces and let them drain on a paper towel. Continue with the rest of the cauliflower. If you're doing this on stovetop like I am, keep an eye on the temperature. You're gonna need the oil to be hot enough so the cauliflower comes out crispy but not soggy with oil. But don't let the oil get too hot either or you'll burn your cauliflower, or worse. And that's it! These beer battered cauliflower bites are best served fresh. Add your favorite dipping sauce or toss them in my vegan honey garlic sesame sauce. They are the best darn cauliflower I have ever eaten. Interestingly, my omnivorous boyfriend said the same thing, only in more colorful language. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and let me know if you'll be trying this recipe. Now, if these are a teensy bit too indulgent for you, check out this healthier but also darn delicious recipe for crispy baked cauliflower bites. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I post new easy and delicious vegan recipes every week. Bye for now.